Whoa, I did not expect this here. What in heaven's name is this place? How can all this be here? It's a book about ancient folk tales. It's open at Transylvania, Romania. Huh. This page describes the Miwara and Azor myth. Weird. This next page is about the castle and I think Vlad's ancestors and the masks. This can't be a coincidence. It's a book about ancient... It's open at Transylvania, Romania. Looks like there used to be pictures in these, but they're gone. Huh. Looking closer, there's a lot of wear and tear. Like they've seen a lot of different pictures come and go. Who put all of this here? Who lives here? Could it be... This is straight up bizarre. There are framed pictures of some objects I've come across ever since this whole adventure began, like the exploding package and Priscilla's doll, but also of others that I don't recognize. These other objects vary from just unusual to ancient? What's the point of all this? Who the heck could this strange place belong to? A framed picture of an unusual crystal. I don't recall ever seeing this before. Maybe it's the stone from the stars that gave Don his mark, but there's really no way of knowing. Weird. This looks just like Olmstein's sign, except there's a crazy amount of lines connecting tens and tens of dots all over the place. Can this mean that there are more than one signs? Olmstein, I can't wait for you to answer all my questions. I know what that is. Why it's framed and on display, that's a different story. Why would these three pictures be displayed more prominently than the others? I'm sick of looking at it. This book is called The Case of Basil Dexter Kerwin. Basil Kerwin, a bookish nobody counting the days away behind his office desk, unveils a century-spanning relationship between himself and a wizard named Corvinus, and tries to avoid slowly transforming into something he detests. The pages are all crossed out and scratched over. It's hard to make out anything more. Cor Corvinus. Oh no, I'm starting to feel faint. I've had enough. I'd better move on. It's the Earth with a moon on a rotating arm attached to it. Wait a minute, what the...? There's long red string hanging from the moon like it was cut or something, and I'm seeing dozens of shorter threads hanging from places all over the globe. The greenish light coming in from the portal is only illuminating three quarters of the moon. I'm leaving everything as it is. Whoa, the title of the book is A Storm Over Fishmouth. What? Should I look deeper into this? While on an antiquarian tour of an isolated fishing village called Fishmouth, a man called Robert Olmstein has an unexpected revelation. Olmstein? Robert Olmstein? What does this mean? Let's see what this page says. It had all started with the strange fishiness of the local populace, but now it was clear. 
There was more, so much more to this. It was as if whispers of dark ancient legends, revelations of unfathomable ancestry, madcap globetrotting adventures, and the ever-present threat of slumbering horror, were all coming together into one blood-red line under the watchful eye of the Necronomicon. Holy hardcover hermetical history, I've stumbled onto something big! I'll just keep reading, I guess. These stories are too dark and beautiful not to come to life, uttered Olmstein with an enigmatic smile. Even the one ending with this world's complete destruction? There is no story if there is nothing at stake, came Olmstein's answer. The roles are set, the actors will come and go, and we will be here, watching. And controlling it? Sometimes, when the time is right. Why not make it always? Always? Where is the fun in that? And he let go of the book, watching it drop in slow motion into the crowd below. The end. Huge porthole looking out into a greenish abyss. There's something off about it, though. It's like it's shimmering every once in a while. I'm getting a very strange vibe from it. Do I really want to go already? I haven't looked at everything in here, and who knows if I'll ever get a second chance. Leaving everything as it is. I'm leaving everything. I'm out of here. Dawn and peace need me. Goodbye, strange room. Like a moth to the flame, you finally made it. The carrier. Right on time. Buzz, turn around! Run! No, no, no. That is where you are wrong, little zealous fly. It is not him carrying the book. It was always the book carrying him here. Nonsense! We were always right on your tail, butcher. Oh, because you chose to, right? Adorable. But enough about that. 
Hand over the book, carrier. Or what? Or I constrict those electricity fields and zap your friends just like the bugs that they are. Not until you tell me what you want it for. Oh, come on. What difference does it make to you? This will all play out as it must, regardless. Let us stop wasting time. I can just read a spell and end you. We both know it does not work that way. It already worked once. Do I have to spell everything out for you? It worked once because it was written that it would. You had no say in this. The book chose the role, and now it returns to me for its final performance. You're insane. Bob Olmstein, or whatever he's calling himself. We're all just actors in his little production. Until you hand the Necronomicon over, that is. I am not anyone's spawn, Butcher. You have not caught on yet? Tough. I have no time to lay it out for you dimwits. Book. Now. What's going on? What's he saying? What is Olmstein's nature? Tell me. But it really is simple, little fly. You are all prisoners in Olmstein's web of fiction while I will claw my way out of it. So what's the book for? A fine seeker you turned out to be. It is the magic wand in the illusionist's toolkit. This thing called Olmstein likes his stories. He simply set loose the magic wand into our boring world and watched it turn myth into reality. So many possible storylines he planted seeds for. The carrier, the seeker, the Protector, the Beast. Same roles, different actors. So much more fun when you defy all laws of nature and existence. Give me the book! Planted seeds? I need to know. Is he divine in nature? <laughs> Forgive the cliché laugh, but the idiotic question warranted it. What difference does it make? What will you use the book for? The crowning achievement of my life's work with flesh and blood and metal. Breathing life into one of Olmstein's favorite characters. The mind-controlled hyperkraken. For now. But what matters is what it shall become. Ya Cthulhu! He who dreams at the bottom of the sea, awaiting his awakening. The perfect triangle. The huge pair of wings he dug up in Foreign Maris. The first angle. Wings of the dragon. The oversized kraken you raised in Fishmouth. The second angle. Head of the Kraken. You. The third angle. Iron will of man. You're just mind controlling some poor Frankenstein creature, you psycho. Part man, part Kraken, part dragon. Made one by the Necronomicon. And now, the moon is right. So Olmstein is an... Uh... Impress me. What is Olmstein? He's an alien, and the last person who'd believe in this mumbo-jumbo, but even I know. What looks like magic to us is most probably just technology we don't understand. I have really had enough talk now. Last warning before they die. Okay, okay. Here. Welcome back, old friend. So now what? You'll just become... C Cthulhu! Devourer of souls! An end to this wretched joke of a world! Destroy the world, that's it? You either haven't thought this through or you're just bad crap nuts. 
Negotiating terms, little fly. Yes, they're in control right now, up there in the moon. But once I stamp this world out, when just me and them are the ones left standing... What? What happens? Appreciation for a mortal that became a god. For the pawn that broke the rules and checkmated the king. I have created life before. And I will destroy and then repopulate this world the way I see fit. Amstein will never allow it. Start over from scratch, with an invincible god of death ruling over darkness? Breeding my own ruthless kind, stamping out the weak. Nothing but chaos for years and years to come? That is not his kind of story. Him and his kind will just abandon this wretched earth. Move on to the next toy and leave this one to me! Time to become Cthulhu! Kitty! Shh! Shut up, dummy! How do I stop those force fields? Forget those! All the underground volcanoes around this peak are rigged to explode! The detonators got to be around here somewhere. Look for that. Blow up volcanoes, awaken beast for mind control. Got it. On it. This whole place is wired. I'll bet it's wired to blow stuff up. Quickly, hook up the detonator. It dies tonight. Quickly! It... Thick, red cable. They run all over the place. Hard to tell where to exactly. It's impossible to tell where they all lead to. The Butcher! Finally in my sights and I'm powerless! I ain't getting anything. That's it! That's, it. That's the detonator! Shut up! What? No! No! The... The detonator! That's it! There's the detonator! Get it! Right below you! Alright, let's hope it makes a big enough splash. Not so fast, you verbose vermin! Unless you want to fry, you are not touching that detonator! No, no, no! Feel that energy crackling in the air? I've reached the final three phases of the incantation! World, prepare to meet Cthulhu! We gotta do something! Yeah! Yeah! Cthulhu Fatigan! Damn it! Damn it! Go come and nahan! Yore Bithikasiyaha! Omsin, where are you? Taranak Shog! Taranak Sia! Yeah! Yeah! Cthulhu Fatigan! That's the one way out of here. Go back the way you came, Kitty. It's the only way out. I've failed you. I've dragged you along all over the place and achieved nothing. I ruined your life. I couldn't change you back. I lost the Necronomicon, and now this lunatic might turn into a god of death and destruction. You're innocent. Just run. Run as fast as you can. Now, Buzz, it isn't easy to admit this, but I've discovered some surprising things about myself since this all started. Run away? Sorry, but that's not my style. Time for... Well, no time left. Bye.
Bitter, your sacrifice was for naught. It has not awakened. It has not! soulless beast she wanted us to think she was. We're all gonna miss her, buddy. It's as if time stood still for her. Rock and roll! 